Look at that. Homemade porridge. Oh, wonderful. Coffee. Coffee. In the Middle Ages, Sjöhärad was a poor agricultural area where people struggled with bad soil and hilly landscape, not ideal for farming. To make ends meet, most people had to work with various types of crafts besides farming, such as spinning and weaving. And soon enough, textile entrepreneurs, locally called Fölegare, invented a business out of organized home sewing. How many of these uh, Fölegargård uh, do you have in the area? In Do all of Sjöhärad? Documented? Yes. Like 80, 80 something. All right. Yes, so quite a lot. Not as many are as impressive at this one. Yeah, this is huge. Yes, it is. So how big was the textile industry? How, how important was it to, to the area? Absolutely essential, because mm. they couldn't live off the, the land alone. Mm -hmm. That's what the, the Pelegger business really was the origin of the textile empire, all the industries that we've still got some left. Are there any figures like saying how much percentage wise of the fabrics that we used in Sweden came from this area? At one point, yeah. 80%. 80%? Mm. Well, that tells you something about the size of it yes. and the importance of it. Money breeds money. <laughs> <laughs> it all happened here. It all happened here. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is it. This is it. The start of the Industrial Revolution in Sweden. <laughs> Hemma på Kleev is a bed and breakfast located in a quiet village in the south of Sjöhärad. It's run by Åsa and Janne, who fell in love with the place and its beautiful hidden garden. Before they knew it, they had said yes to running the hostelry and the belonging restaurant. Hello. Hello. Welcome. I'm Tarek. <laughs> Åsa. Nice to meet you. <laughs> you. And who might this be? This is Flisan. Hello, Flisan. Our sheep dog. Oh. When we have moved the lawn here and taken down all the small bushes and trees, yeah. <laughs> this one appears. But it wasn't like this when you when you took no, it. No, 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 yeah. it wasn't. We took this outdoor kitchen with us from our okay. other place. And this is the dining room. This is a dining room. So you yeah. run the bed and breakfast. Mm. You run the restaurant. Yep. And of course, it's a big house to manage. Yeah, and then we have. And the you do sheep. the gardening, and you and you got sheep yep. as well. Yep. It's full time. How many hours a day? <laughs> you got 48 hours? <laughs> and that, that's why we can work together, because we don't see so much of each other. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh, look at them. We try to make it as natural as possible. Here's the husband. How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, you're coming with to apples. sneak past us. <laughs> yeah. That's not We're happening. Trying. That's not happening. Yeah. Wonderful. Apples for? Apples for the sheep. Yep. Okay. Apples Wonderful. for the sheep. Yeah. The sheep is an old Swedish breed. It's called Gästrikefår. Uh, so this is smaller, so they're easier to handle. And they have a taste that's a bit milder. So it's uh, suitable for persons who say that they don't like lamb meat, if they have tried something that wasn't they, so good. If they don't like lamb meat, they've had sheep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They haven't had lamb. No. no. <laughs> so. <laughs> but they're also very good for forest uh, yeah. pasture. So they, oh, really? they, yeah. they eat the leaves and they like the small bushes. So they are important for the landscape, keeping the landscape open okay. also. Is it safe? <laughs> yeah, it's safe. <laughs> All right. <laughs> we took, aw took away the bad ones All right. <laughs> this morning. Oh, you, you had a couple of troublesome ones. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Come, 
Here we go. Starting on the apples now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 